Hey guys, what is going on? This is Larknuff1 slash Vatic, and welcome back to part 10 of my Let's Play of Civilization Beyond Earth. So last time we were continuing with the extermination of these aliens with the eventual goal of taking this nest out and taking down the siege room and reclaiming that resource pod. As far as our cities are concerned, our main goal right now is getting our health up, getting our economy up. We are building the mag rails now. And we're also still dealing with a little bit of unhealth here, um, as that gets lower as our cities grow. Um, actually, as our cities acquire more internal health, but eventually the additional growth in our cities will translate to a lot of positive surplus health. And I'll show you guys that eventually when it comes to that. Um, inside our cities, we're pumping out tons of science and tons of culture for merely turn 160. And we are pretty much on pace. So right now we have a choice of continuing this trade route. Actually, hold on. Yeah, this is the previous one. Uh, with Kuyin, giving it a considerable amount of internal production. Or we could try to trade with Huan Lei. Give us a little less internal production um, in both directions. But alternatively, it'll give us a good hefty chunk of energy and science. Um, you know, I'm actually thinking that's probably a safer option right now, considering how negative our economy is rolling. Let's make sure Juan Le already is. Just fine. 30 bolts here. 30 bolts there. It's not too bad. So you know what? Let's go ahead and trade with Citadella. Give us some good old energy and science. Alright, so we want to get our guy back here to build another uh, bio well. And we want all our workers to get down south so they can build us some glorious mag rails. Our tack jets can continue bombing. And in Tiangong, we did just finish the Neuralab, so it is now high time to build the spy agency. Um, this is going to be one of our main sources of health in the late game um, because it converts a certain percentage of total health into additional global health. So what that means is that if we have 10 cities um, and all of them have, let's say, five people in them, um, the total number of people uh, or unhealth from the people within the cities themselves is gonna be something like 50. Now, if we counteract that in every single city, um, that means that we have zero total unhealth being produced from the cities we i mean there's an additional amount that's the global quantity based on the number of cities which is i think it's three or four per city um but to deal with that we're going to rely on the spies that we actually get out of the spy agency and they're going to give a percent of global health based on the total so in the scenario i, I provided we're going to have in that scenario in particular we'd have a lot of health um from all sources that i think i don't know if you guys can see that or if uh my webcam is going to be in the way, but it says right now we have 40 positive health from all sources. So later in the game, that's going to be more like 100. And that's really when the percent bonus from spies is particularly, particularly good. Oh boy. None so deaf as those who will not hear. He's going to get wrecked. Hopefully we don't lose something in the way though. In the process. Um, okay, so we do need to move our troops out of this zone. Uh, and protect Gonzarig because uh, we just got DOW'd. Thankfully, Gonzarig should be fine, honestly. These units are so weak, they doesn't even have affinity level 2. Our tack jets will just. Oh, they'll sweep up. Okay. Let's get them out there. I ain't even mad. Alright, so we'd have to pull this guy out, anyways. Because honestly, uh, you don't st you don't end your turn next to a siege worm. It's just not a thing you do. Uh, yeah, not a thing you do. We could gun this guy. I'd rather just get back to Gonzarig. I mean, the AI doesn't look like it has very much to throw at us, but I just don't like to tempt it. Um, and I will just try to get this guy into Gonzarig as soon as I can. Okay, so we're gonna get our free tech now from the what I'm, bleh, from the thing yeah uh what am i saying why am i why is it ah stop institutes yeah we're getting our free tech from the institute i don't know why that evaded me okay so we did tech properly so social dynamics is now totally free to us which is glorious 
Um, it's kind of a testament to how powerful our science is that it would only be 25 turns, but that's 25 turns we don't need to spend. So boom, there we go. Culture and fashion are racked by pointless ideological wars. Whichever ideology wins immediately becomes cliche. Now that is going to be a useful, useful building, keeping our local city on health uh, down and also giving us extra growth with Civil Crush, which I believe quests for an additional percent bonus on food. So all things considered, it's very quite good. We just finished our last bio well up in Tiangong, and we can move this guy back down south. Another bio well here. And let's just bombard us some aliens. Why not? Okay, so... Got four things to produce. We finished our network. Now, we have a choice here between... Okay, health is not a really an issue, so the Sulma Distillery doesn't need to be built. Our real choices are really between the Civil Crash for long-term insane food growth, or the Neural Lab for short-term science. So this is going to give us 2.6 from the 10%. Plus maybe an additional one if we actually decide to work this tile afterwards. Um, upwards of three science. We go for the hollow suite. It's a considerable amount of culture. Um, at this point in the game, culture... I don't know. Is it more important or less important? It's really hard to compare. I'm actually going to go with the my gut and say let's build us a civil crash. I don't know. Yeah, you know what? It's just such a good building. I'd love to get it out there. Um, and, yeah. Alright, so we did finish the network in Init 10. Now we have the option of building the petrochemical plant. I think that's just a very safe option. And we'll be able to soon improve these petroleum wells, and all will be good. We finished a thorium reactor in Gansary. And let us now begin. What is the best option here? So actually, the pharma lab will bring us to total of six, which is counteracting, which will counteract the population completely. So I think that's the safest option right now. It'll actually bring us to ten on health only. Which is fantastic. And in Gong Ren, we finished our old Earth relic, bringing our culture up to fifty-four. And I think it's high time to. Did we get the old Earth relic? We have the production centers. Let's just build a clinic. It'll get us an additional two health, and it'll also get us one good science. So the precog project got built somewhere else. That's okay. Um, that's fine. It doesn't worry me too too much. I think we're in a good place here. Okay, yeah. This is why we wanted to get our troops back Your quickly. village was ever ruined by trade. Calm down, sir. Uh, do we want to do this. Um, you know what? We might want to find someone who we're willing to trade some of our Varaxite to. Okay, hopefully this doesn't do too much damage to us. Oh, we're fine. Let's get him in the city, healing. Ganser will be A-OK. -okay. I'm not really that concerned. Okay, and then the attack jets are just gonna sweep up. They do not have the military power to deal with us. Only just upped itself to three citizens while finishing the Vivarium, which is very good. We do have three local city health here, mostly from the bio wells. And I believe we have a clinic there as well. So that's a total of four right now, soon to be five. So health is not going to be a huge issue there for a while. Um, I'm thinking in the short run, we might just want to pick up the old Earth Relic. Uh, it's five turns, it's three culture. That's hard to deny. And let's get our guys in position that they can fire next turn. Um, yeah, this looks fine-ish to me. It's a good place to put him. And let's get him home. Well, not home, but to Ganzerig to defend. Alright, so the question here is... We can just weaken a bunch of units down that they get killed in one. Um, yeah, we're gonna go with this one. I tend not to like attacking uh, units that have a lot of health because it's not super safe. All right, so now we can continue this with Gong Ren. That's going to give Gong Ren some food. It's going to give Ganzerig some production. Um, or go here for... Basically, we can feed anyone we want. That's very interesting. Um, 
Hmm. Who do I want to feed? I could feed Tian Gong, Kuyin in at 10. Or I could feed Gong Ren. I'm thinking. Might as well feed Gong Ren this time around. Uh, we might change our decision later. Jinsogu Labs is taking a lot of damage. You wouldn't think that with 40 combat strength. They'd be fine. But, um. Still happens. Okay. I'll go with the mag rails. They're getting built. We're getting there. Yeah, that's not. That is not nearly enough firepower. Not enough this time around. Venga, volvamos los más ricos. We still have really no use for petroleum. I'm down for this. Honestly, we'd go quite negative on the energy. If it weren't for something like that. And now we're going to be able to take out a lot of units this turn. What with our two rangers and the two tack jets. They're going to lose at least three or four units this turn. This is why it's very important to always have a military on standby. Okay, let's just gun them down. And just like that, they don't even have a, me uh, have a melee unit. Jinsoku Labs looks like it'll be fine. I just want to check my trade routes quickly. Make sure nothing got totally deleted. Alright, we're good from everything except trade routes in Gong Ren. And yeah, we're good. Alright, Jinsoku Labs can continue. And let's get our soldier into friendly territory near the Basalt and heal him up. Okay, so we have a worker here. Let's just move. Actually, we can just finish this mag rail. Mag rail done, and we'll build a mag rail here. Again, because we are above level three in supremacy, our mag rails are completely free. Looks like the Paul Australians just upgraded into gunners. That does not scare me. Once again, we have two gunners of our own, tack jets, and two healing marines in the region. Yep. Once again, I'm down. Have no real use for that. Looks like we did just finish our spy agency, so now we're going to be able to begin a project. I'm just going to go right for propaganda to avoid having to do it later. Now, what I want to know now is how we get more spies, because it's really more spies that's going to do you justice here. So we have to steal science from my gun. That is going to be my number one priority. I want as many spies as I can. Alright. Let's build a hollow suite. I believe... Actually, is it the hollow... Which one of the... Culture Buildings gives us a free spy. I think it's the Feed Site Hub. Um, well, that'll be useful later. It's not our top priority right now. Our top priority is to get higher on the supremacy levels. Alright, so... I'm thinking that the Hollow Suite would be a good idea, if only because we haven't built one anywhere else. And if we're going to grab a free Virtue out of it, which is, I think, one of the options, we might as well do that now. Let's just go ahead and grab that. So, we wanted to send a spy to Pagan. So let's do that. Fortunately, there's no other spies there, and the quest was to steal science, which is not going to be too, too easy with just one spy. Um, it'll take us a short while. I'm sure we'll get it done. One counter spy, and let's just send a spy to Freeland. Why not? Okay, so the goal here is to kill as many targets as we can again. Um, all right. Especially the closest targets and melee units. These are always high priorities. Heal him up. You know what? We could just heal this gunner up. Uh, no. I'm thinking we just want to shoot stuff. But let's let's find out whether or not we actually have to. We can afford to heal this gunner up. We just have to deal with all of our critical antagonistic enemies, which are really just the things that we can kill this turn, and all melee units. We could just charge immediately right into this. Um, I'm not gonna. I might do that next turn. I just want to give myself a short moment to breathe. And, you know, we will just heal that gunner up. Um, he heal for 20. I'll have extra defense. He already has defense against ranged. He's got his fire on him. He'll just get free experience points. Basically. 
finish another bio well. Let us get to building another aggro. All right, I like this trade. It's pretty solid. I like the production. I like the food. Yep, looks good. And we do have a magrail here, so let's go ahead and just keep on building our magrails. That's going to really help our production out in Kuyan in at 10. Help us produce the civil crushes and the soma distilleries when we need them. Let's see if we can do a little bit of microing here. Okay, there we go. Magrail done there. Agarail in four turns there. This guy just finished. Let's move him up here. I'd like a, you know, a Magrail and Ganserig would be better than anywhere else. Uh, especially because we can just transport units there as fast as we want. And there we go. Good old Micro. So let's go ahead and fire on the Siege Worm. If he comes closer, you know, he'll damage the city a little bit. He'll screw up a few tiles. It's not too, too crazy. Uh, repair times aren't bad, and if we can actually get a kill on a siege room out of this, that'd be nice. So the wrong decision on the AA's part here is to attack a city without any me melee units to take the city. Um, they're just going to do that, it looks like. Unless they have some weird... Uh, what do you call it? Combat rover that I don't see that's right there. I don't see how they could possibly take the city. Yep, there we go. That's what I pretty much expected. Alright, so we're just gonna pow pow, one, two. We're just dealing with uh, some ranged units at this point. And melee units will sweep up. Okay, a tactic could easily clear that out. So I, I usually reserve my city attacks for bringing things down into range for my ranged units to take out. Um. Let's go ahead and try to take this guy out, and this one will kill those two units this turn. I like to fire with these ones first. And one, two, just like that. And attack jets will definitely sweep this guy out. Yep, there we go. More mag rails be completed every turn. Alright, let's see if we can't micro these and continue to move down. And build us another mag rail. Okay, so this trade route actually doesn't look like the best one we have anymore. This one is giving better yields than this one, and it's giving it to Ganzerig, two production to Ganzerig instead of in at 10. Now that's fine because Ninet 10 will have Magrails done to it well before Ganzerig. So I'm thinking this is probably the better choice, unless we want more production in Tiangong. I'm actually fine with the food. I prefer more food. And there we go. Alright, so we did finish our Pharma Lab in Ganzerig, bringing us down to only 10 on health. Now the question is um, what do we build next? The Cider Nursery is a good, fair option. Um, health won't be an issue in Ganzerig. For a while, I don't think his growth is coming to a standstill. Uh, we haven't locked in our food tiles. If we do that now, we'll definitely get our growth back up. Alright, so if we do that, you're growing in six turns. So that's fair. But at, while we're doing that, let's just go ahead and build a network. I love the yields. Three culture, sorry, three science and one culture is great. Can't look negatively on that. And let's just bombard this siege worm while bringing our guy out. This, these siege worms will not be reluctant to go ahead and eat our workers, so. Just wasting more fire on the city. That's how AI operates. Oh boy, right, going right for Juan Lei. Yeah, um... Three or four of those, and the Siege Worm could take out the city, but unfortunately, the Siege Worm takes immense damage from doing an attack like that, and it will just not do as much in the coming turns. So let's go ahead and bring this guy down, and we might as well have him working on Magrails to Juan Lai. 
Okay, let's just keep on bombarding. Doing what we can with our attack jets. Might as well move our soldier up. Uh, I'd love to, yeah, I just want to move him there just in case they have some weird fast unit here. I'll block a quick capture of Ganzerig. Um, because really what I'm trying to avoid here is captures of any kind. Let's just get our gunners in position to fire next turn. This tactic deserves a heal, and this one can actually bombard. That said, I'm not going to, because I don't want to risk the chance of putting... We can't kill him this turn, but I don't want to risk the chance of putting him into range of being able to fully heal, or do some immense healing. So, you know, we'll just heal both of our tech jets up. Alright, so another worker done. It's Magrail. Um, let's see if we can't micro this once again. We have to be careful here with the Miasma, but I am confident that that worker will be fine with the Miasma. Yeah, he'll be A-OK. -okay. And a Manticore to bombard. Now hopefully we'll be able to walk away from this with the Polystyrians de somewhat uh, deflated. Maybe they'll give us some money, maybe they'll give us some resources. He wants our resources right now. Um, not gonna happen. And certainly we'll walk away with elite units. I don't know why the AI thinks they have, like, a bargaining position with only ranged units. And it looks like we're actually going to kill this Siege Worm this next turn. We only lost one tile to it. It's going to give us some good yields. Alright, there we go. 55 science, 85 culture. That's considerable. And... Let's go ahead and bombard this one. Let's see if we can't take out two ranged units in this turn. We can take out this one with just our range units. We can walk in and take this one out easily. Actually, you know what? Let me just put some pressure on this one. I think we'll be fine with attack jets here. The melee unit will walk in here. And all will be good. It's all about optimization. Okay. There we go. I love the smell of dying Paul Australians in the morning. Good. Alright, there we go. That is how you deal with an invading force. Of a superior strength. And this soldier is fully healed. Let's get him back up, putting some pressure on these mana cores. Um, they're pretty much free science for him. And, yeah. The Polystralians are pretty much deflated. Um, we're not going to build a force to re-back invade them yet. I mean, we still have some short-term goals. Not bad, just making sure. How much time we got left on the clock? Two minutes. Alrighty. So Ninit 10 finished its petrochemical plant. I think now is the time to go for the civil crush. Again, long-term growth. It'll be fantastic. And we do have our unhealth just down to nine. Right, we got an old earth relic done here, and I think it's high time to go ahead and build us, um, I guess, the observatory for now. We don't have too many production options here. We will once we acquire this gold mine and this mine, um, which will happen in the short future. We're getting the gold mine in just four turns. And we finished a clinic in Gong Ren. Um, that's why our own health is just eight. That's so, so critical. Alrighty, um, I'm thinking that the lab is a very safe option at this point. Seven turns, three signs per turn, sign me up, sir. Elodie has made peace with Reggie. Yep, bombarding our units. Of course consensus is uninspiring and trite. However, inspiring original ideas are often tragically wrong-headed. There we go. Right to Affinity Level 6 to give us several upgrades. So this one doesn't matter too, too much. Again, we we're not going to have that many naval units or cities or anything. Um, for the purpose of it, let's just go ahead and get against land. So if we do run into some units on land, we can bombard them with extra force and disciples here. So the question is, how many disciples are we going to build? The answer is a lot. Um, so we're going to go ahead and grab this one, which is better when you have a horde of disciples than this one. 
this one, um, it's very good for small numbers, for efficiency. I mean, if we kept army the size it is right now, which is pitifully small, I mean, that would be the better option. But this is really something when you have three, four disciples next to each other. They're stacking. They have immense power. Um, great mobility with the, uh, the military. So we're going to go with that one. Okay, so the question here is, do we want to obliterate things, or do we want to intercept like a mofo? I'm going to go with obliteration. I love having a navy that, sorry, an air force that can just kill anything it wants. There we go. We got expert planes, just like that. That is what war with other players is good for. And let's go ahead and take out this mana core. This disciple will... Ooh, time is up. So just before you see our disciples and how they fare against the alien threat... I'm going to have to end the episode short. Thank you guys for watching, um, and I'll see you guys next time.